Hello everybody, welcome back to another video! So, um, here yeah, I'm with my, my best man, Kirk, uh, one of my eight guinea pigs. Um, yeah, and I'm here to say why I think I should be <sighs> captain of eight a So, why should I be captain of eight a I mean, first of all, Kirk's gone. I look after my guinea pigs, you know. He has to go eat. Um, I actually didn't put his palace back. So he's kind of just like, I've learned nothing really. Um, looks like he's gone under his palace, but it's in the wrong location. I'll fix that. Um, yeah, I was in quite a rush. So, uh, I mean, there are a couple memories, really. Um, for example, one time, you know, my guinea pig died. I mean, obviously, we've had a couple animals die all the time you know well not all the time but we've had quite a few animals die in my lifetime that i remember um the one of them that probably hit the hardest and has recently come back to hit me in the face um is the death of the guinea pig called seven um she is amazing she is absolutely amazing and i uh, i miss her she was an incredible guinea pig our first as well um, she died of cancer, she just got worse and worse and we eventually accepted that she was going to go and, you know, she was the most talented and had the most personality, most social of our guinea pigs um, and it's just sad that, you know, she died. This was about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago and it hit me hard. Came home one day from school and uh, she was gone. And that was it. Pretty sure this was at, um, actually maybe at the start of my year seven. Um, because I used the minibus and I, I came back home and I came through the door. My mum was there and she was like, oh, I'm sorry, this has happened. And, and I cried. Recently, I had quite a recollective dream, um, about this, this event. Um, and it hurt, really, it did, um, though I feel like I've gotten over it now, and, um, I mean, it held me back today, actually, um, in school, it's the 6th, the 10th, the 22nd, um, and, um, you know, it hit me hard in school, I had it the night before, and it was, it's quite a powerful dream, really, um, and it upset me quite a lot actually throughout the day. Um, it just kept coming back in my mind. Though, um, you know, you, you want to think of the, the happy times that uh, would come around from this. Oh my God, it's over two minutes. Okay, well, it's almost free. Boom, flipping neck. How can it go that quick? Anyways, so um, we, this is going to be slightly over two minutes. So. Please don't mind, I rant a bit. Um, so I've been on uh, a school council before, actually multiple times in primary school. Um, once in reception, and um, I decided to do it in year six as well. So it was, it was quite interesting, it was like full circle. I did it, I did um, one at the start of my primary school years, and one at the end. Now, the one in year six, we basically did nothing. There was nothing to do with school council. I, I didn't even wear the badge for more than a month, because, you know, there was never anything about it really. I mean, it wasn't exactly the best um, school council meet meeting ever really. Um, I mean, we were called together to do something for um, children near day and they used none of our ideas at all. They just kept with their own. I guess it was just something for us to do, um, being school council. And we had to actually make a speech and say it in front of the entire class. Um, which I didn't like personally, and I don't think that's happening here. I'm pretty sure this is only in front of teachers. Um, so yeah, uh, if it's in front of children, hi, this is my bedroom. <laughs> There's much more to it, of course. It's actually quite a mess, actually. Um, I'm cleaning it. You know, I basically just whoop everything off here um, <laughs> quickly beforehand. I don't know what this is doing here. It's a, it's, it's a natural hot cleaner. It's quite nice. So yeah, um, I was on the school council twice in primary school, um, though we did quite a lot in reception that I remember, about meetings and stuff, um, and as many of these te 
you teachers will know, um, I have done a lot for the school, I would say. Um, you know, I've I've done a lot of litter picking. I've stayed back to help in the most open events that I can. Um, and I feel like I've sometimes caused some trouble doing that. Because I, I come to the last second and I'm like, hey, there's an open day. I need to get signed for this. And then I'm like running around people and I'm like, hey, I need this now, please. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, okay. You know, and then, yeah. I mean, I would also say that I'm a pretty good student, you know, like, uh, okay student. Um, I mean, I would say I'm creative. I mean, I made all this stuff, it's all mine. I made all of this like a year back. Though I, I do make quite a lot of art. Um, uh, my English teacher, um, my old English teacher from year seven, possibly my newer one, um, will know that I um, I love creative writing. It is my thing. I make books. I've made books, and I love that sort of stuff. I mean, um, I've made my bestiary, which is basically speculative evolution and um, a, um, a biologically accurate fiction. Um, basically it's a small documentary about these made up animals that uh, actually are kind of realistic to an extent um, in biology and um, speculative evolution um, and I like that. We're at six minutes now, this is like a lot. <laughs> this is like three times over the, the amount that I should really be doing. Um, I'm sorry, please just like listen for a bit please. Um, because like, I, I, I can't do this, I can't, I mean the music's probably stopped by now, it's only like two minute music, unless I somehow get it to loop. Um, but yeah, here, very quickly, is a few memories I guess, yeah. Anyway, thank you absolutely so much. Goodbye. Oh man. That was a good video, wasn't it? Hey, bro, you gotta stop this, okay? Come on. What do you mean? Stop it. Do you know where you are? I'm here from another dimension. Just stop it. Alright then, I'll stop.